Good morning, folks. Today we'll hit three science findings, one from Mars and two from the Sun, including solar cycle signals and space weather forecasting. But we also have two significant things to check on with current space weather, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Magnetic activity released a small filament on the south, not much of a CME to that one. Things have been fairly quiet with continued minor impulsive M-class flares, but there is reason to have eyes open today and tomorrow. First, we have been discussing the NOAA forecast suggesting previous CMEs have a good chance of beginning an impact sequence this evening. We'll be closely monitoring the solar wind and geomagnetic conditions. It's expected to be a minor event with KP5 level 1 solar storms as the maximum potential. But as we shared last night, the new sunspots growing behind the biggest active region continue to spread. They are approaching the interaction proximity with each other, and that will be something to watch in terms of solar flare production this weekend. Monitoring both situations here. First up in the articles is elemental sulfur on Mars. The rover crushed a rock while driving, and it appears to have pure sulfur in it, and the astronomers are pretty baffled, saying it's like finding a grand oasis in the desert. Shouldn't be there. Add to the list of significant mysteries on the red planet. Up next, we have an indication that the next solar cycle is beginning. This is actually not a new thing. It happens every cycle. And it appears that the sunspot cycle magnetic activity begins while the previous one is peaking, very much in an overlap, sort of like how the sunlight creeps in early in the morning before the night is fully finished and sunrise occurs. They are currently seeing the signs of cycle 26 activity while 25 is still very much at sunspot maximum. Last but not least, they say they are compiling a new way to determine CME speed before it ever leaves the corona. With this analysis process, they would be able to better forecast impact timing of solar storms up to several hours earlier than they were able to do before. If true, that's a good bit of news for sure. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.